incremental greetings. Do you know that in Super Memo you have tons and tons of statistics and plots, like a uh, thousand perhaps, but there's an unknown one that more is more special and it's in a different place, and it's called the repetitions graph. Okay, so let's say that I'm curious about my imports. It's ten thousand. It's a uh, a quarter of my collection by size. So, right click, process branch. It's uh, I don't have. I only have statistics. Yeah, something that happened in Super Memo. If you do the same, so you first open this to the browser, and then, and you get to this menu. Yep, here I have tools. And look at this repetition graph. No errors. Cool. So this plot I know looks terrible. Is the amount of repetitions you have done. And the interval. This interval is not linear. How it is plotted is exponential. Every time it's the, it's double. So look at the red line. This is non-lapsed elements and the amount of repetitions you have done. So it makes sense because most of the items will be the lower priority items. They are outstanding. They are waiting for their repetition, but they haven't done them. Cool. Then what happens when uh, they have one lapse? The yellow one is that the performance is lower, has been lower. I, I forgot this. And by average, the interval is lower. Makes more sense. And it's to the right. M going to the right means higher repetitions. And the more to the top, the longer the interval. So what the, what's the meaning of this? When I lapse items, the intervals are lower and I do more reps, which it's a, it's a given. But it's interesting when, hey, what about the elements, the items that I have lapsed twice? Is huh? In black, you can see some points here. Pa, 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 pa. Those I may assume it's the, the they are the data points, and this is the average. What's going to happen is that every time the size of the pool is lower, the uh, amount of elements, the number of items that I lapsed twice will be much lower than the ones I did once, and the same for three. It's not even plotted. I don't see the blue. Perhaps there are not enough data points. Uh, I don't know. But you can interpret this. Child, filter, or F8. And now I do it. In this case, it's just 11. It's a very small pool. And I could do the same. Now I want F8. When I lapse it, only once. Okay, 44, it's more. You see the point? And wait, I only did the import. I can do this collection-wise if I select the root, or basically if I go to view and priority queue, or all, it will be it's the same result. Or items as well, to that also work. Then tools and repetition graph. Here I have some um, errors. The interval was zero. Oh, it's because here I have decomposed. Yeah, something that is not that just not that common. Perhaps there are some bugs. I don't know. It's been more than a year that I don't use de decompose. And oh, now this looks um, different now. I have more data. It's my entire collection. So first, now I see there's even a fourth category of four lapses, and then it's um, more than four, five or more. So it doesn't specify six, seven, eight, nine, and so on.